transformation on the table in Florida. Two contentious bills now on the governor's desk. We need a formal recess. We are in formal recess. Sergeant, please secure the chamber. Opponents of one bill fought tooth and nail to stop its passing. The other bill swiftly moved through without any debate. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lisa Bell. Yeah, glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. Power could shift with the stroke of a pen. Disney on the verge of losing its right to self-govern after the House passed a bill today. Reaction on that in just moments. First, though, state lawmakers sign off on the governor's congressional map, not only reshaping Florida districts, but potentially the balance of power in our nation's capital. News 6's Jerry Askin is following the impacts. Jerry, this might not be a done deal, though. Well, no, because many Democrats, especially saying they want this whole thing to be taken up by a higher court. Now, many saying the redistricting map approved today diminishes black representation in Congress. Members, we are back in session. As is obvious, we have members who decided they wanted to hijack our process today. Before Florida House members passed the governor's proposed redistricting bill today, many Democratic state representatives made their voices heard from the House floor in opposition. Many of my colleagues are, are standing with us. Um, they, are, they are here. Florida State Representative Travaris McCurdy of Orlando says the governor's redistricting map is unconstitutional and an attack on black voters. This video taken during a short recess on the House floor. We want people at home to know that we're fighting for them. And this is unbelievable that in 2022 that we're trying to diminish black representation in Congress. So here's how the current and the governor's proposed maps compare. The proposed redistricting essentially changes two majority black districts here in Florida, including District 5 in North Florida and District 10 here in Central Florida. Supporters calling it constitutional. See, when we guarantee that a group of people gets to select the candidate of their choice, what we're saying is we're guaranteeing those who aren't part of that group get no say. And this has to be done every 10 years. And if we got to keep coming back, if we have to be here for 10 days, that's what it takes. But so opposing House members say it takes putting the needs of Floridians first. And so to completely erase the ability for communities of color to choose a candidate of their choice, it is against our state constitution, it's against the Voting Rights Act, and it's purely partisan. Yeah, a lot happening today. The governor will still have to sign those redistricting bills. Now, News 6 will keep you posted as this whole thing moves forward. In studio, Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6. Jerry, thank you.